Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing a Q&A. So I asked you guys to send me all your most burning questions. I've got them here. There are some good ones, some very juicy ones. You all went in. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with a long intro. Just like and subscribe, the usual, join me on Instagram. We'll get straight into the, into the cues. So, number one, do you work out in a gym or just at home? Used to work out in the gym pre-pandemic. I've not yet been back to the gym since the pandemic. I've been doing daily, live, 5.30 a.m. Instagram workouts, and I'm loving them, and I really just want to build and take it as far as possible. But I will be going back to the gym. I can't wait to go back to the gym. Also, did athletics training pre-pandemic, so sprint hurdles as well. Did you get your teeth whitened? I get asked this, <laughs> I get asked this a lot. Let me just check there's no lipstick on my teeth. No, there's not. I get asked this a lot and no, I've never had my teeth whitened. Um, I've never had braces. I did get my four wisdom teeth removed when they started coming through when I was like 17 because they were really hurting. I could feel them like pushing on my teeth. Um, so I got those removed. Um, in terms of white teeth, I, I must admit when I was younger, when I was growing up, I had this thing where I hated the feeling of my teeth being itchy. I know that your teeth can't be itchy, but if you like run your tongue along your teeth, that's very attractive like that and you can feel the bumps i would do that and i'd feel the bumps and i'd brush my teeth so i overbrushed as a child um which i would not recommend do not overbrush it's a point where when i got one of those electric toothbrushes where it times how long you should brush for the timer would go off like two minutes done or however long it is and i'd be like i've literally done one section of teeth like are you joking and um, so i think i definitely overbrushed for it i did get sensitive teeth for a time but apart from that i just used colgate and now sensodyne for my sins so what i do do though is i always buy whitening toothpaste and um, i have no plans to get my teeth whitened um i mean i'm, I'm happy with them how they are is there a workout to define a waist and hips a workout to define a waist and hips. So I, I probably need to know what you mean by defining waist and hips. If we go by the typical secular preference, that is smaller waist, bigger hips. Um, a lot of that will be predetermined by your genetics, but of course you can exercise and gain weight, lose weight. Um, I'd recommend eating a healthy diet to keep a good, healthy body fat percentage. Um, you can do lots of muscle building exercises for the lower body. There's loads of that on my channel. Um, and you can also do a lot of core workouts but again that the waste will mainly be determined by your genetics and your diet and body fat um are you still a locum tenens i'm still a locum doctor yes are you going to be posting more workout videos on youtube yes i am yes i have been i hope that you're loving them do you believe women can be or are as physically strong as men I mean, I think there are a lot of really strong women out there who are stronger than some men. I think genetically, men are generally stronger, but obviously there's genetics and then there's lifestyle and what you do. So obviously if you've got a female weightlifter and a guy who doesn't work out at all, then the woman will probably be stronger than her. So, um, stronger than him rather. How did you decide your medical specialty? So I just really enjoy acute medicine. That's what I'm locuming in at the moment. Um, there's a huge range of presentations. Um, you see people on the front door, essentially. Um, so I really like that, which is why I'm doing that at the moment. Favorite meal? That's a big question. Something involving plantain. I really love cheese. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I also really love sugar snaps and carrots. I love carrots so good i need to get some carrots thanks for reminding me i'll put that might be worth the drive actually to go and get those um favorite holiday destination oh i haven't really traveled as much as i would like to i really enjoyed thailand i love thailand as basic as that is but i think it was more what i was doing there it was my first time traveling on my own and i was just doing loads of crazy stuff meeting people taught english to some kids in a school that was really cool um, favourite exercise equipment? I think an, a, a resistance band goes a long way, but also obviously I would choose a squat rack over that. <laughs> Most embarrassing story. <laughs> Most embarrassing story. I feel like you'd have to ask, like, buy me a drink first. There are many. Oh my gosh, way too many absolute, like, movie scene-esque moments. If you ask my sisters, they will confirm that I have some movie scene type of embarrassing moments. I just bury them. I just push them deep deep down just don't think about it did it even happen probably not a favorite thing about yourself that's a nice question what is my favorite thing about myself i think and this is something that was quite intentional actually that i chose and really practiced i think i like 
that I can encourage people, that I can be good at encouraging someone. Like if someone tells me about an issue or something they're nervous about or sad about, like, I, like I'll make them feel good and hype them up and encourage them just finding the good in that situation because I know how much it has meant to me when people have done that for me. And so I was like, oh, I really want to be that kind of person. That's something I've really practiced and learned to just encourage people. And I don't know, I guess you'd have to ask some of my friends and family if that's actually, if it actually comes across like that. But um, I really try to do that, to encourage people in whatever they're doing and, and just find the good in whatever situation they're in and just make them feel better. Um, so yeah, I think that would be my favourite thing about myself. Is Gareth Malone as amazing in real life as in the shows? Oh my goodness. Great question, because yes. Although I, I haven't met him in real life still. I've literally just still just talked to him over Skype and WhatsApp and whatnot, but you know, I've obviously spoken to him outside of filming. He's great. He 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 inspires me. Like he truly inspires me. I think when you get to see the professionalism and the hard work and the excellence that goes in behind the scenes, it just blows my mind that like I found that show hard. I found it a lot of like work and filming. And I was one of like what was it, nine, more than nine, because he filmed with more than just the people who were actually on the show, one of how many people, and he was doing all of that, like, times 30, as well as doing the weekly rehearsals or the daily rehearsals. Um, and But he, he also checked up on us after the show. Like, he's, he really inspired me as, like, wow, if I'm ever in that kind of situation, if I'm ever in the limelight in that way, I want to I wanna be like that. I want to be kind and approachable and <laughs> just... Just really excellent. Really excellent is the word I would use. Um, so yes, he is. And I hope I do get to meet him someday. Um, how have you changed since last year? <sighs> these are good questions. Who's that from? Praise, praise. These are good questions. A lot. I think I've changed a lot since last year. Um, I think I've matured. I think I've definitely matured, which I really like. Yes, I think, oh, 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 I've got one. I've got it, I've got it. I've learned to control my emotions better. Believe it or not, I'm really quite sensitive and emotional and like, you know, only with like my closest family or whatever, like if there's ever an argument or whatever, I would be the one crying. I was, I'm the crier. <laughs> I'm the crier in the family, believe it or not. Um, but over the last year or maybe two years, I've really just learned to, oh my gosh, wait, I've got two now. So I've learned to not cry every time I feel like crying. So I can choose to cry if I want to, but I can also just, just not cry. And just be strong and not like because it does just kind of add emotion to situations that sometimes don't need it so controlling my emotions better which i'm really proud of and then a second thing that i've been practicing which you will not be able to tell from this video because obviously i'm just talking non-stop but i've been doing this thing where i just don't talk like if i if i don't know what to say I just stop talking and I just allow someone else to carry the conversation or someone else to divert from the awkward moment. And it is glorious. You also learn a lot of stuff when you just listen. So I've been doing this new thing where I just stop talking and I just listen to the point where I've been in situations where someone has had to ask me like, Sarah, what, what do you think? And that's also pretty cool too for someone to ask your opinion before you just give it. So yeah, I think over the last year I've learned to control my emotions a little bit better. I mean, I'm still working on that. I think I've matured a lot. Um, and by God's grace, I feel like I'm learning to shut up <laughs> from time to time and just stop talking and listen. Um, mainly, so I still talk a lot, but it's mainly in situations where I'm not sure what to say or it's uncomfortable, better to say nothing. And I think that that is like really good advice. If you're someone who, like me, was always putting the foot in the mouth, just stop talking. Like, no one can force you to say anything. If you just sit there, like, they don't know what you're thinking unless you wear your emotions on your face which i kind of do and then they still know what i'm thinking but they don't know no what i'm thinking so <laughs> what's the dream ah, the dream is ah, that's a good question who knows i guess to love and be loved i think that life is all about love and i know that sounds really soppy and romantic but i don't even mean like romantic love i mean just like true genuine love so for me like in fact i believe for everyone i believe that is to love god and be loved by god the unconditional love that comes from the god who created us i think that means loving other people your family your friends romantic relationships i just think love is everything like you can do all the other stuff you can have all the things but if you don't have a relationship if you're alone none of us would want to do life <laughs> you can like all the other stuff money food entertainment sex like if you don't have genuine a genuine loving relationship I, I don't think life would be that great so yeah i guess love is the dream 
So I guess I'm kind of already living the dream. Wow, that's powerful. Can you read sheet music for singing? Unfortunately, no. It's like very, no. I was gonna say very badly, but it's just no. Um, I did do music at A-level. So I have an idea, like if you show me music, I can like guesstimate and jump and blah, blah, blah. But no, can't read sheet music, sadly. Um, are you in a relationship? Mm, no, very much single. I just wanna know if you're gonna make another thighs video where we don't need to jump or squat. Sorry for the long comment, love you. No, don't apologize for the long comment. Thank you for the long comment. Um, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I can totally do another video like that. In fact, I'll put it on the list for Sartember because I'm still filming videos for Sartember. How long did it take you to be able to wake up so easily at 5 a.m.? I'm struggling so much to consistently wake up and work out that early. It took me a while to get used to it and to for it to be normal for me. So I started in, was it third year of uni, if I remember correctly? I think I would definitely have to know more about what is making you feel like you're struggling to consistently wake up um, that early. Is it the waking up? Is it the waking up and working out? Um, do you feel like you're not getting enough sleep? Are you tired? I think that um, I personally love waking up early and um, I think that there are a lot of benefits just practically. Um, it means that you have to be organised with your time. If you're going to go to bed at 9pm, you need to be organised with your time to make that happen. And um, so I personally love it. But also, if you do all of the things, and I definitely would recommend you know doing all of the things first, like making sure you're getting eight hours sleep, making sure that you're um, eating well, that you're not drinking too much caffeine, that you don't have distractions keeping you up at night and you're not constantly on your phone or stressed or have you know stressful distractions in the room that you're trying to sleep in you don't I just want to let you know you don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. I personally find it really helpful a lot of people find it really helpful but you also don't have to okay um yeah if you could only do five exercises for the rest of your life what would they be oh okay um <laughs> squats great compound movement deadlifts love it Press-ups, pull-ups, squats, deadlifts, press-ups, pull-ups. Oh, I want an ab movement in there, so I feel like I'm going to go for Russian twists because there's so many variations. But I also want some triceps in there, but I guess I'll get that with the pull-ups and the, the rest. Anyway, yeah, those would be my five. Those would be my five. So Russian twists, squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, and press-ups. I, I genuinely feel like I could maintain my current physique just doing those. <laughs> No, nah, I, would, I would get a little bored. Um, are you married? Do you have any kids? Do you plan on having kids? Mother, is that you? <laughs> Seriously, no, it's not. Because the name is Eat S-H-I-T. Thank you, Eat S-H-I-T. Am I married? No, no ring on this finger. Um, do you have any kids? No, no children right now. Do you plan on having kids? I would love to have kids one day. I would love to be a mother. I think it's such a beautiful beautiful gift um yeah i definitely would want kids in the future but like not right now i feel like i've got stuff to do and i just don't want kids right now so i'm gonna leave it there to make sure that we don't just have a super long video that no one apart from my mother has the patience to sit through love you mommy thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who sent in a question if you want to do another one of these then just let me know and leave any questions you'd have for another one in the comments so then i can just like i know that there's actually a load more questions to answer and i can just form another one and um, but yeah thanks for watching thanks for sending me questions i love you guys i hope you're enjoying sartamba um really hope i keep up with it i can do it we can do it thank you so much bye